today I want to try out if I can turn this lovely 3D model into a view like this. So let's get started. In my previous video I tried to create realistic renders from a simple hand drawings. If you want to check that out you can find it on the right upper corner. So after that video I thought can I do this with a super simple 3D model and maybe with a reference mood board. First, I started with creating a simple mood board for an interior living room scene. I used for this mood board a website called Style Sourcebook. It was easy to use because they already have lots of furnitures, products, textures in the website. So you can just click and drop it to your canvas. And you can easily rescale them, change their orientation. First I try to find a nice sofa for the living room. And my main point about this video was to test out the capabilities of this text to image and image to image AI tools and their possible use cases for interior design and architecture. So to be able to test this, I wanted to keep the mood board reference board design as simple as possible. I didn't want to add too much details and make it perfect to see if you can get something nice even with a low quality or less detailed material. So that's why uh, please don't judge the quality of the mood boards. So I just added a simple sofa, some couple of plants and uh, abstract painting on the wall. And also I wanted to add a wallpaper in the one part of the background to see if it will be able to understand it and generate something on the wall. And lastly, I added a simple wooden flooring and that's it. After that, as a first tool, I wanted to test with Midjourney. So I just added Midjourney bot to a new server for this video. And then I make sure my settings are correct. I used Midjourney version 5 with high quality. Then I uploaded my reference board. Then right click and say copy image address. And then you can type slash imagine the copied address and then scribe your interior design. I tried to use some basic keywords to describe wall material, the flooring type and the lighting etc. And lastly, I changed the aspect ratio to 4 by 5 and added image weight of 2. For mid-journey version 5, you can choose an image weight between 0.5 and 2. So let's say we want to use this image and we added the prompt of birthday cake. If you use 2, it will be much closer to the original image, but you won't be able to see so much about the birthday cake part. But if you use image weight 0.5, it will be more close to actual birthday cake than the original image you used. Okay, so I tried to generate a couple of different ones. Uh, for each one, I tried to change the image weight to see how the result will be changed. And then for some of them, I adjusted some keywords a bit. I will compare all the results at the end of the video. After my journey, I want to test out a website called Room GPT. In this one, you can choose a room theme for your space and then upload your image. It will directly remodel your image with the given style. So this is the image I get with the minimal style. When you first sign in, it will give you three free options to test out the website. And then later if you want, you can get a premium version of it. And here are some of the other results I get with modern theme. And then I tried also with tropical one. Even though I'm not so sure, I feel like it is using stable diffusion at the back end because the results were similar to what you get with stable diffusion. 
but of course it's a much simpler version of it because you can only choose room style and you cannot change anything else and lastly i tested out with stable diffusion image to image version i also used control net extension and i use almost exactly the same workflow as the last video when i turn hand drawings to realistic views so if you want to see more detailed version you can check that video i described my image similar to the mid journey and then hit generate here is one of the results i get from stable diffusion and for the second part of the video i use sketch of web to model a really basic room scene so as you can see here i just extruded some walls at flooring and open a window on the left side similar to the mood board example i didn't want to add too many details to the 3d model to see if we can get something nice even with a really low quality 3d model so i only added a simple sofa and a rectangular box on the corner to use it as a plant and then i turned on the lights to have some light coming to interior space from the window lastly i added a simple circular table on the middle and i painted different surfaces with different colors on the model to use it as a reference then i just took a screenshot to use it in my journey for this version I went over the same process as we did with the mood board. So first I'm, I will use Mid Journey to generate some room designs and then later Room GPT and finally I use Table Diffusion as well. Again I tried to describe my space briefly, how I imagine this space, what kind of materials I should use. And then I test it out with different image weights from 0.5 to 2. Then I used Room GPT and I feel like this is a better use case for this website because the main idea is to upload your room and regenerate in a different style. So for this room I also tested out with a couple of different versions. You can see some of them here as a preview. And that's it, let's compare all the results. Okay, first we had this mood board and our lovely SketchUp model initially to use it as a reference. And then let's check what we get from Mid Journey. I feel like the overall image quality is really nice in Mid Journey. But the way Mid Journey works, it doesn't use your images directly, it somehow uh, inspires from them and creates uh, new versions. So if you want to use uh, exactly the same characteristic, exactly the same furniture types, uh, maybe it's not the best case. Then we have Room GPT. It was a nice website to try out different options for your space. You can choose different styles and themes, but you don't have much control over the process. But if you just want to generate something easy and fast, you can try it out. And then we have Stable Diffusion. As you can see in the images, the final results you get from Stable Diffusion is way closer to the original image we uploaded. So if this is something you are looking for, maybe Stable Diffusion can be the right option for you. Now let's compare the results for the 3D model. I'm very impressed by the Mid Journey's result for this one because it managed to get all the elements in the image correctly like windows, sofa, coffee table it even understood the, the box on, on the corner was plants in all of the versions and if we check room GPT I don't want to say much about it, just K and lastly if we check stable diffusion it wasn't so bad, but compared to Mid Journey, it could be better. 
because it couldn't understand the lighting so nice and the box on the corner for most of them are just weird and that was it for today's video i hope you liked it let me know in the comments which one is your favorite one and see you in the next video